Welcome back to Time Machine VR. And now we're waiting for the game to start. Episode number two. Welcome back to Svalbard. Thank you. I can't wait to upload your data on Pliosaurus and Ophthalmosaurus. Yeah. Just Rob, are you there? Yes, apologies, Doctor. That that thing disrupted communications. Yes, it looks like Stonehenge. I'll analyze the logs. Hey, Thank news. you. I wish we had more time to spend on oh, this. I'm an adult. But I'm afraid. All systems are now online and operational. Prepare for temporal relocation in three, two, one. Objectives. Our primary research target for this excursion is the Dacosaurus. It's so well adapted to life at sea, we're not sure it ever leaves the water. As the virus the doctor described originated in water, we hope Dacosaurus may offer us some insight. The area we're investigating was recently hit by violent tremors. Earthquakes and tsunamis were the norm in the late Jurassic period. Arrived. When you're ready, focus your view on the shutter controls. Let's continue our mission. Let's continue. I am detecting heat signatures at dangerously high levels all around us. Do be careful. Mm. Hey, Jesus. The only thing you can add to make this game even worse is will be spiders. If a huge spider would come at me right now, I would probably throw up. Oh, followed by like this big ass dinosaur thingy whale. How was supposed to go? Ah! Okay, so if I look this way. Nothing I okay. Strange. Yeah. Oh. That bubble. Hey Rock. Those look you? quite a bit like our modern nautiluses. Those are shrimp. Observe the soft cephalopod body emerging from the buoyant shell. Mm, Since shrimp we're here. Time. What the f Why not tag one with a probe? So we can identify which genus this is. Probe thingy. Bing! It appears we're looking at titanites, a species at the root of modern squids and octopuses, cool. but not direct ancestors of the Nautilus. Real. They appear to be scavenging for a meat. What's the problem here, okay? Recent seismic activity must have washed many smaller creatures into the area for them to eat. While Titanites are fascinating, they are not our core objective. Let's find a Dacosaurus. Watch that geyser. 
pressurized water superheated by magma. Not hot enough to harm our pod, but it could make navigation challenging. Okay, I don't want to be more challenging. What? I thought I was smart there. You know. Not. Oh. Are you for real, man? What luck. Dacosaurus. Fortunate oh. for us, they are focused on a massive carcass. Their behavior is unexpected. Since we're in no danger, let's try to identify the carcass. Scan all exposed flesh to collect DNA data. Hmm. I think that's funny. I think I'm wanted. Go where these things are. Crocodiles slash sharks. Crocodiles. Oh, that's a thing. No, isn't it? Eh. Okay. What? I wanna go there. What? Uh. Of uh, one of those things. Um, the first Angus burger was made here. Yes, that's how it is. Welcome to Flynn's Learning Channel. Fantastic! A Luso Titan. A large land dinosaur of the order Sauropoda. Ooh, Something like of a land whale, thing. so to speak. Decomposition leading to internal um. gases are responsible for the exposed chest cavity. I estimate it died within the past three weeks. Perhaps the earthquake is responsible. Or perhaps the doctor's virus. We should tag all the Dacosauruses with yeah. probes. Of course. All. Mm -hmm. Dacosaurus DNA confirmed. Good job. Let's do a more thorough analysis of their biology. Ah, oh, please. Perform a scan on a Dacosaurus. Hmm, <laughs> too far. Yeah, because I want to get close to that thing. Please. Oh, yeah, I can do it like this. <laughs> Preliminary analysis indicates that they are not a pack. The okay. largest one is male, and the rest are female. Powerful jaws and serrated teeth. Their metabolism seems to be struggling, however. We need to know more about their behavior. Of course. Dacosauruses are infamous for being territorial and aggressive. Predators attack if they feel threatened or hungry. Our pod typically elicits some kind of aggressive response, but they seem to be ignoring us. I suggest you perform an echography scan uh. on the stomach of the largest Dacosaurus. Wait for me. Mm, this is my life now, isn't it? I'm looking for weird stuff. supposed to go oh my god I'm gonna look at the wrong one what the fuck fudge oh this is so nauseating when you're doing this upside down come on what the f and this game is broken just check out the females yeah good times Oh, maybe I should. Just, maybe yeah. Is it like? Whoa! Oh, one is blue, so that's gotta be him, right? There's the answer. 
answer. The Dacosaurus stomach you scanned is filled to the brim with meat and rocks. My database indicates several prehistoric species swallowed stomach stones to aid digestion, as well as control buoyancy. They are not attacking us because they have gorged themselves on the meat of the Lusotitan. They're simply too full to be <laughs> aggressive. The Dacosauruses have been feasting on the Lusotitan for days now. We know from previous scans they have very powerful jaws. Let's determine just how powerful they are. Scan all highlighted Dacosaurus bite marks on the Lusotitan's carcass. Okay, I'm gonna need a puke break soon, guys. Okay, I'll see you in the next uh, puke adventures. Ooh. Okay, man. Whoa! Blop, 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 blop. Stop blopping and blipping. Exciting. The Dacosaurus's powerful jaw musculature allows them to lock into prey, rip off their flesh, and quickly swallow it whole. No chewing required. In fact, hmm. we should see it for ourselves. No. Let's see if we can't help open their appetites a little. Fortunately, I have just the tool for the situation. Bait. Fire the projectile directly at any living organism to make it appetizing to all nearby creatures. Use the bait on the lone Lusitan meat chunk to attract a Dacosaurus. I failed. What splendor! This data confirms our scans were correct. They do not mess around. They Look, don't. Titanites. They must be interested in the Luso Titan's carcass too. Titanites are likely prey for Dacosaurus. Uh -huh. This Luso Titan's carcass has provided many unique research opportunities. I would expect Dacosaurus to attack Titanites on sight. Oh, you guys are But we know that they've gorged themselves. That said, the Titanites seem remarkably undeterred by the presence of such predators. What could cause? such confidence. Attach bait directly onto a titanite to entice a Dacosaurus to attack, and then observe the event. Okay. You wanna be an you want me to be an asshole, eh? Alright. That can be arranged. Oh man, that was a fail one. Oh so close. Oh no! No, what the? Are you for real? Yeah, but what? Oh 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 oh! Oh, now you mine. Say hello to my little friend. Going away. Oh, there we go. <gasps> That's a surprise. The Dacosaurus allowed the Titanite to escape. Let's scan that Titanite. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Yes, these cool things are there, and I, I want to check out this tree. Okay, okay, okay. Why wouldn't I? Oh, you're one big, giant tiger shrimp now, aren't you? Don't you wish The you external can. shell was barely scratched. This protection is likely why the Titanites were not more cautious. Hey, they're going away now. Pepe! Pepe! I don't like that sound, dude. I don't like that sound one bit. What's going on? Oh, fuck it. Ooh, more is coming. Oh. <clears throat> Cadet, I have some bad news. Oh, uh, fuck you! A new Basque of Dacosaurus fuck! have appeared. They seem in the mood for live prey. Which in this situation means uh, us. Hurry back to the research center. We cannot unload our data in a post mortem state. Oh, I'm hating this. Please scan the portal to initiate the transport sequence. How do I scan? What the? I hit something in real life, I think. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Ah! No! Why are you after me? 
You are one friggin' Whoa! Where am I in the room? I don't know anymore. Am I even still in my room or am I in here for real? Go, go, go! We must get out of here! Rädda Joppe! Oh, you guys suck. All systems <laughs> are now <laughs> online and off. Suckers! Yes. Operational. Prepare for temporal relocation in three. Two, one. Good, you're back. Mm. Your latest batch of data was so thorough. Thank you. I know it's tiring work. That said, yeah, yeah, do yeah. not feel ashamed if you need to take a short break before returning to the past. In fact, I would recommend it. Okay, let's end the episode there, because Rob recommended it. Uh, awesome, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, all.